Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be using our Ninja Foodie Power Blender Ultimate System to make some quick and easy cauliflower puree. So you ready? Let's get into this. So for our ingredients, we have our cauliflower florets, some mozzarella cheese, some minced garlic, a little bit of black pepper, some chopped chives. If you've got fresh ones, use those. If not, dry ones are just fine. Some truffle dust and a whole lot of salt. Don't worry, we're just using this to boil off the cauliflower and most of it's gonna be going down the drain anyway. If you'd like to make this recipe, all the ingredients and the measurements are down in the description of the video, along with the calorie count, the fat, the protein, and the carbohydrates per serving. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is get your water boiling. Once you get some heat on this, you're gonna to wanna to put a whole lot of salt in the water. When you think you got too much salt in here, then you know you got just the right amount. Remember, this is all getting thrown out after we finish our cauliflower, so you can be pretty liberal with the amount. Throw in the minced garlic. Once you got the water boiling, go ahead and add in your cauliflower. Just be careful not to splash yourself. Water's gonna be hot. Go ahead and boil this until the cauliflower is nice and tender. Once your cauliflower is cooked, go ahead and take it off the heat and pour it into a colander to drain all that water out. Once that cauliflower drains, I recommend giving it a quick rinse with warm water just to get rid of all the excess salt. Remember, you can always add back a little bit of salt later if you'd like it a little bit saltier, but if you finish it and it's already over salted, then you're kind of screwed. We're gonna let that cool and drain for a couple of minutes, and in the meantime, we can go ahead and prepare the cheese. We're gonna be using our Ninja Foodie Power Blender Ultimate System. If you don't have one of these, then your cheese shredder or your food processor will do the job perfectly fine. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Carefully take out the extremely sharp blades. You're gonna to wanna to put in the disc standoff here, and you'll use the cheese shredding disc. You can tell you're on the right side because the little shredder blades are sticking up, and it says shredder right there. So we'll put this down on top here, throw on the top and lock it. And then we're gonna feed the cheese through the chute here. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Once you got that done, we can pull this out and set it aside. As you can see, this thing does a really nice job on the cheese here. Okay, so we can go ahead and put this back. Go back to your regular blade. And now we can go ahead and pour in the cauliflower. And then add in your cheese. Then we add in our truffle dust, our black pepper, and our chives. Then all we gotta do is blend this up. On this machine, I would either use the chop setting or the spread setting. Or you can just use manual blending and run it at about a medium speed. It all depends on how chunky or how smooth you want this to be. A lot of boring math later. I just ran mine for about 15 seconds or so because I like mine to be a little bit more on the chunky side, more similar to a mashed potato. But once you get the consistency you want, then you can go ahead and pour it on out. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Joe's Phenomenal, you can watch a couple more videos or you can check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. Cauliflower puree is a great substitute for mashed potatoes. It tastes really great. You don't have all the carbohydrates that you have in the potatoes. And in the case of this recipe, you don't have all of the extra fat that you would normally have with the butter. If you want some more information about the Ninja Foodie Power Blender Ultimate System that we used to make this video, we have a link to it in the video description. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me and hope to see you again here really soon. So until next time, I'm Joe, and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.